What's up guys, Kyle here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to replace the turbo on a six liter power stroke. If you find the video useful, please like it and subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. And if you got questions, ask in the comments or look me up on Instagram at Dark Iron Diesel and shoot me a message. Thanks guys, let's get at her. So probably the most common reason why you gotta change the turbo in these trucks is your veins are sticking in your turbo, the VGT turbo, so you might you know, not be getting boost or maybe intermittent boost issues or I don't know, something like that. Uh, or maybe your uh, turbo shaft, just like this guy, maybe you got a lot of play in there. Whatever the reason you decide you're changing the turbo, maybe you're even putting a bigger turbo in it. If you are, then good for you, that's awesome. But anyways, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drain the coolant. Uh, there's a drain underneath on the rad. I think it's an Allen key or you might be able to get a wrench on it, whatever. Drain the coolant. You don't have to drain it all the way, just uh, till it's below here so we can remove this uh, coolant reservoir. Okay, while well, the coolant's draining, and again, you don't have to drain it all, just enough that you can get that lower hose off of your reservoir. Uh, so you don't need to drain all your coolant. But while it's draining, we're just gonna grab an 11 mil socket and take this clamp off here. And then there's another one down there. We're gonna take this charge pipe out. So you can take off this clamp, or it's probably better to actually take the one right off the turbo. Gives you a little more room. So we're just gonna pull this pipe right off the truck. Might need to get a hose pick or something. Just kinda work it around just to loosen up the clamp and you might need to hook underneath the, the, the pipe too there, the rubber uh, piece and kind of just work it free and then you can pop her off. Now something I do is I grab one of these upholstery tools and I go underneath here and I pop these guys out and then I'm gonna get a bungee cord and just kind of lift this up and hook it somewhere up uh, on the hood just to get this out of our way a little bit. Just something sort of like that. Okay, that should be more than enough coolant drained. All right, now we're gonna get rid of the reservoir. There's a hose clamp down there. I usually use some right angle needle nose pliers to get it. And then uh, these ones coming off the top, I take them off there and then the one down there, just so you get both of these lines right out of the way. And then it's just two eight millimeter bolts and you can pull this reservoir out of the way. Okay, now we're gonna take this uh, intake pipe off, just right here, grab an eight millimeter of your choice, and there's just one clamp here, and uh, one right up there. It has this PVC drain or whatever it is there. I usually use, use this upholstery tool again and kinda get in between there, and just kinda work it back and forth. Try not to break it, but yeah, you're just gonna pop that out, and then once you have it out, this piece will come. Okay, now we can unplug it. Just gonna, this one was didn't even have the safety on it, so unplug it. And then there's two 10 millimeter bolts on the top for your oil feed. We're gonna take those out. And then you can either fold this line over, but then you kind of kink this hose here. I don't like to do that, so you can. I have done it before, but I'm gonna go down there and take the eight millimeter bolt out and pull this whole oil tube right off the truck. Before we get too carried away, I'll probably just tell you to disconnect the two negative uh, cables off of your two batteries, just because we are kind of working behind the alternator. And if you don't have this rubber grommet over your uh, alternator power wire, that's gonna be live power. You don't wanna arc any of your tools out on it. Let's grab a screwdriver. You could probably just use your thumb just like that. Yeah, just kind of open that up so you can get this uh, turbo wire uh, out of the little harness clip there. Okay, now we're gonna disconnect the down pipe back here, another 11 mil clamp. It's a V-band clamp. You're probably gonna need a flathead screwdriver or a pry bar to pop it off once you have the clamp loose. And then on this side, can't really see it, but back there, that's where your up pipes, they join together and they go to the other side of the turbo. There's another V-band clamp with an 11 mil nut on it. So take those two clamps, loosen them right off, pop them off the way, and then uh, we'll go after taking this turbo out. Okay, I got my V-band clamp off my downpipe. I'm just gonna kind of grab a pry bar and just kind of, there's a little hook 
from the downpipe that hooks onto the turbo flange. I'm just gonna kind of bend that up so it makes it a little bit easier. Then I'm gonna go get the up pipes off the other side. This V-band clamp back here on your up pipes is a little more challenging to get it to break loose. I just use a really big pry bar and just kind of hold it up against there and whack it with a hammer a couple times. Usually it breaks free. But anyways, the V-band clamp is off. So we'll move on to the next thing. All right, so we should have everything disconnected from the turbo. Uh, the oil drain is just uh, right down in there. It's just a pedestal that it sits on with an O-ring. So when you pull the turbo out, it should just pop off. Pop off. Uh, so now there's just three, there's three 10 millimeter bolts holding this turbo on. So you got one right there. You got another one on the back. Or I usually just use a ratchet and extension to go straight down, but it's back there. And then the third one is right kind of down there. I'll show you on the other turbo so you get a better idea what it looks like. Okay, so this is pretty much how the turbo sits in the truck. So again, you got one down there. Then if you look right there, that's where your other one is. And then right there. Those are the three bolts. Don't be surprised if your truck is missing a couple. I can't even tell you how many times I've gone on these trucks and they've only had one or two bolts holding the turbo on. It's honestly, it's like 50% of the time. So anyways, I'm just gonna pull those bolts out and we'll get the turbo out. Okay, my bolts are all loose. So I'm just gonna find a safe place to pry. Just try to lift it up. Oh yeah, she's loose. Looks like it's still catching on the, the up pipes on the other side, but. Anyways, just grab a pry bar and kind of pry it up and just get it loose in there. Okay, now I'm gonna hop up there. I'll try to set the camera up here a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm just gonna kind of spin it and roll it out of there. Uh, just be careful not to hit any, any of these lines, you know, power, electrical, all that stuff. Um, careful for your oil uh, filter cap there. Just uh, be gentle, take your time, and it will come out, it does fit. Here is the turbo and then the new one that's going in. So it looks like you're gonna have to transfer this heat shield over to this guy. Uh, this one comes with new bolts. It comes with a new, uh, a new one of these clips and everything. So I'm just gonna kind of transfer some stuff over and then we will get ready to throw this turbo in. So my kit comes with new O-rings for this is your turbo oil drain. So you can even just pop it out if you want, put a new O-ring on the other side. I'm probably gonna leave it on the inside. I don't wanna take it off. I'm just gonna replace this O-ring here. Uh, I got a mouse nest here, I'm gonna vacuum out. Uh, I also got some soot here. I'm just gonna make sure that was coming from the turbo and not from an up pipe or something like that. But I checked these up pipes before and so they look pretty good. So anyways, just gonna get her all ready. I'm actually gonna pull this thing out. Change both the O-rings on here. Okay, I got my new O-rings on my drain. Got my heat shield on, my little electrical clips on. So this is how it sits in the truck. You wanna oil these O-rings before you put this in and before you put the turbo on, just so it slides on a bit better. But uh, the biggest thing you wanna look for when you're putting this turbo on uh, in the truck is that this actually goes in the hole. Um, and it seats all the way. So it's very important. You wanna watch this as you're dropping the turbo in. I've had them before where, you know, guys didn't have them quite seated properly or whatever. And as soon as you start running the truck, uh, you're getting an oil leak down, dripping off your bell housing. So like I said, very important to watch this uh, as you're dropping the turbo in. Okay, drains back in. Just get this out of the way. And uh, I think we're all good. We'll uh, put this turbo in. Now you think sometimes it's good to get a guy to kind of go underneath the truck or just kind of hold this downpipe out of the way. Sometimes this downpipe gets kind of hung up on the turbo. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, just go gentle, go slow, and make sure you kind of get over it to this side, kind of before it's right down. And you just want to, again, watch this drain, make sure it's lined up properly.
sweating a little bit after that. It's uh, probably on the video, I'm just gonna show it going in nice, but definitely took me a little while to get it in. But you can see there, the oil drains in nice. You can also see these little uh, dowel pins kind of things. You can see this side, there's one on the other side. Uh, they line up in their little grooves so that you know you'll be able to get the bolt in. Uh, down pipe looks like it's on good. My up pipes on the other side look like they're sitting in the right place. So one thing you can do too, if you want to just double check to make sure you did seal, uh, you did get that O-ring on right, you didn't wreck it or nothing, is uh, in your oil feed at the top, grab a rubber tip airline and blow air through it and spray the bottom with some soapy water. And if it's not sealing properly, you should see some bubbles forming there. But I'm pretty confident it, it went, it, it had a nice thud and it dropped on there good once I put it in the right position. So uh, I think we're good. One thing I forgot is I didn't put this V-band clamp around the new turbo. So, cause sometimes they're pretty fun to, to try to bend over top of the pipe and snap them in place there, uh, which is what I'm gonna have to fight with to do now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start my turbo, uh, my turbo mount bolts, the three 10 millimeters. I'm gonna just start them, put them in about halfway. I'm not gonna tighten them down yet though. Once I have the three bolts started, I'm gonna put my V-band clamp on. Uh, well, I'm gonna start with the up pipes because they're usually a, a little bit more difficult. Uh, and then I'm gonna put my V-band clamp on the down pipe and I'm just gonna tighten it up enough so that it can't fall off, but I'm not gonna tighten it right up. And then once everything's uh, in place and on, I'm gonna tighten these turbo bolts and then I'll finish tightening the two V-band clamps. It's a good idea too to put some anti-seize or copper coat, whatever, on the turbo bolts, just any any bolts that get hot and cool off a lot are just kind of more prone to breaking. So it's good to use stuff like this on those bolts so that if you ever have to do this again in the future, you don't run into the same problem or you don't have a snap bolt. Make sure you bend this tab from the downpipe to the turbo. Bend that tab back down, just kind of like that. Uh, get it all the way down as close as you can. Uh, just because if you don't have it down, your uh, V-band clamp isn't going to sit on there properly. Okay, so my bolts are in for my turbo and my V-band clamps both are snugged a little bit. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to uh, tighten my turbo, my three turbo bolts, and then I'll go tighten my V-band clamps all the way. Uh, I don't know the actual torque spec for the turbo bolts. Uh, don't go too tight with them just because they aren't that big of a bolt, so they will break. So just kind of get it snug and then just give it a little uh, you know uh that should be good so i'm gonna do that and then we'll proceed with the install okay she's all tight now before you put your drain tube back in just uh i don't know if you got a new turbo or if you just cleaned your old one or whatever uh put some oil in your fill or the oil feed hole up at the top there mine's got the red plug in it right now but uh just put some oil in it until it's full it kind of just pre-lubes the turbo uh, just so that it doesn't run dry until it gets oil pressure. Then you can put your oil feed line. Uh, I put a new o-ring on mine. If you got a new o-ring that's a good idea. Uh, also actually before I put it I'm just gonna scrape this old gasket off because I got a new gasket but uh, yeah then you can put this guy in. Okay I went ahead I uh, bolted her down there and then I used my new gasket and I tightened my feet at the top after I put some oil in it. Uh, now I'm just gonna hook up this electrical and run it through this new bracket. Put this guy back in. I usually kind of get in place, pop this uh, part in first, and then you can put the rest on, tighten the clamps. Now you can throw your coolant reservoir back in, uh, bolt her down, hook up these two hoses, and hook up the bottom hose. If you haven't done it already, you can uh, take your bungee cord off and put your clips back in here to hold this guy in place. Now just inspect your boot here, inspect the one on the truck, and put your uh, charge pipe back in. Throw all your coolant back in, then reconnect your batteries. Okay, then once you've cleaned up, we can start it up. I usually get my hand in the fan here first and just spin the fan, just kind of a thing I do, just to make sure there's nothing stuck in the fan that's gonna uh, break it when you start the truck. But yeah, we're just gonna fire it up and then we'll uh, check it over.
Okay, once it's running, just uh, check real good around your oil drain on your turbo that it's not leaking. You can kind of try to feel your hands back there, make sure you're not leaking any exhaust on the downpipe or the uppipe. Uh, make sure you, all your coolant lines are good, you're not leaking any coolant. And uh, if you think it's good, then you can take her for a test drive. Are you ready to go home, Bronx? Yeah, you've been at the shop all day. Well, that's it for my video. I hope it helped you guys. Uh, like I said before, if you enjoyed it, please like and please subscribe. It really helps the channel out so much. And if you got any questions about this job, ask them in the comments, or you can uh, shoot me a message on Instagram at Dark Iron Diesel. Thanks guys, we'll see you on the next video.